welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. I'm your girl Kim Opera. You know, Trending brings you the best of the best, all the engaging interviews and all the juicy details. Mm, my name is Pascal, the juicy details, as he said. We're going on a short break right now, and when we return, we'll talk about the juicy details Kim just talked about. Let's go. Welcome back. Let's get the show started. We still have myself and Pascal in the studio, and today, Joining us on the show is none other than the general himself of the Big Brother Ninja universe, Pere A.V. Pere in the beauty. I, I, like Evil said, green. I like how you said the general. Evil world green, Seth. Yeah, I mean, it, it green is symbolic. <laughs> Always right? on theme. Always <laughs> on theme. I mean, you're wearing green too. There's some touch of green there, so I guess yeah. we're all on theme, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it, that's it. So how's life been after the Big Brother Ninja All-Stars house? Chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> a mixture of chaotic and good. Mm -hmm. and you, you just, it, it, it's just been being fun. It's been fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, second time contesting. Right. Second so, time finalist. Mm -hmm. How does two that time feel? Yeah, it two times. I think the first time I was second runner up. Yeah. This time I was number five. But it, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Did you see yourself going that far though? No, I didn't. I didn't think I was going to go far. I mean, I wanted to go far, mm -hmm. but I didn't think I was going to get to the finals. Why? But I, man, I, maybe I was trying to be modest mm. in my thoughts. Mm, and your expectations. And my expectations. Keep it like right there. So I don't disappoint or I don't feel hurt when I... When if you don't, if you... Right. I don't like a family, to family kind of thing though. Let me, let me come in real quick. Right, 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 right. Let me break the, the package. You know right, what I right, right. You had a little time, a little moment in the Big Brother Niger house. And talking about this in particular moment, um, you started from the, first, from the first day, from day one to like day fade, like the final day. And you had a little enjoyment and a little moment. And talking about the moment I was talking about, talking about the fact that you where like one of the persons, one of the guys that the ladies, everybody would just run into. Like really? The were they? Of course. They were. You started with a pinch of Alex, then you wanted to like explore CC, or like there was some went, something, went, something there. But the Alex it's mommy, was daddy really, moment. Yeah, yeah, mommy daddy moment. It was so, really, really close, eh? Yeah, I wouldn't say. Uh, but I, Alex I, was like, yo, because I can remember yeah. a particular time she was also bitten in the ring, and she's like, come on, really, go out with. Come on, but I mean, look, so when you're mm -hmm. in the house like that, you want to be able to try to have a good rapport with get everybody, if not everybody, most people. So mm -hmm. you can't isolate yourself in a confined space like that. Mm -hmm. So what I was only wanting to do was trying to create that rapport with as many people as I could at the time. Mm. Was that what well, you were doing it turn by turn or? No, it wasn't turn by turn with everybody, man. Uh -huh. But were you, it was well, that what you were to do uh -huh. When you with, were close yeah. to Alex, you were just close to Alex. It wasn't like you were close no. to Alex and then you were close to like other no, people No, I won't say close, time. there was, I won't say close, close to Alex. I wasn't close I to I think it was a particular conversation where you were like, I just really like her, the type of person she is. To be Intellectually. She I think we were talking yes. to someone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah an yeah. intellect and yeah. Mm -hmm. It's normal for you to like something about a person. Of I, course. I like I, some mm -hmm. things about this, mm -hmm. some things about that person. So it's a normal thing to... Yeah. So it, it wasn't there, as if though? there was a likeness, like I mm -hmm. really, really mm -hmm. I'm in love. Like with you didn't have feelings for her. No, 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 no feelings at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But what happened mm -hmm. though? Because it, at the end of the day, it turned out to be some some sort of like love hate relationship. Uh, I, because why I say love hate relationship? Because you guys started on a cordial form. It's not like you you did not like yourselves at all in any form or shape. You know, you guys were cool, and then it just went downhill. What would you say was the determining factor for that happening? Oh, uh, look. I'm hearing this love hate thing. I, I was unaware of that. Mm -hmm. um, again, mm -hmm. people would have uh, people would like certain things about people and have reservations about certain things about. Of people. course, so, yeah. I guess she had her reservations. I don't know. Okay. Whatever it is, that's in the past. 
course. Yeah, he's a, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Of I course. love the thing you you're saying is in the past. But before we move on, let me just ask this question, right? Let's wrap things up with this Alex kind of thing. But mm -hmm. you've dated a lot of girls in your life, man. You feel like you're over, like, over almost 40. I was 30 something now. This is all yeah. 30 something. No. 30, 30, 30, 30. 38. Okay, Probably good. 38. 38. All right, yeah. almost 40. Now, you've dated over, let's say, a spa guy guy. You know that you've dated over, let's say, over 10 girls. No, not really. Not up to 10 girls. Not up to you've 10. not dated up to 10 girls. Now, mm -hmm. let's talk about the statistics. Well, there's, there's you there's date. Though. Date, like being in, love it. So with, being in love with. Being in love. Hey. I've been in love more than 10. Okay. okay I've, but been you've, in love. I've been in love with way less than five. Okay, but okay, let's say you smashed more than 10 girls. No, I haven't this. smashed more than 10. Oh my god. Okay, okay, <laughs> Pere. Pere, are we going to be honest? Are we going to be honest here or not? Yeah. Are we going to have a conversation? No, 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 Pere, but I, want, I want us to talk. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you a fact, man. I've smashed mm. more than 10 girls. Oh, yeah. Shit, right, no. No, 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 but I'm serious. Uh, That's good good for you. But I'm just, I'm just, I just feel like, man, uh -huh. so you know when a girl likes you. You you be G. You're in the same yeah, person. You know when a girl likes you. likes me. But then I also know when a girl is actually playing hard to get and then getting jealous. And I, I know, I know. About so them. that's likeness. When a girl is getting jealous, you know this mm -hmm. attribute to be like, okay, this like likeness. This girl is, is, is really into me, you know. Mm -hmm. So are you gonna say that from the thing Alex was playing out? To you, she really likes you. If you moved towards it properly, she was gonna give you a chance. I wasn't even thinking about that because I didn't like Alex. I, there was no feelings or anything. I just liked, again, and I made it clear to her. I, I believe I, I did. I think someone in the garden where I made it clear to her that um, I like the way you handled the... It was a wedger thing that actually caught my attention with the way she oh, was yeah. handling the stuff. And it wasn't anything, because first thing, I didn't really notice. I mean, I've seen her outside once. Um, it was a very brief conversation, very brief. Hey, hello, hi, how are you going out? Uh, come, well, going to the club. Uh, she said, no, she wants to go home. And that was that AY thing. And that was it, that was all. Um, we weren't even following ourselves on social media. I don't think so at the time. Oh, um, so you guys have seen yourselves outside the house before? Just once. Okay. Just once. So, um, going into the house, I saw her. I wasn't, there was no uh, physical attraction for me. So there was no, it wasn't as if I was drawn or anything. But the whole thing happened when I saw how she handled um, the situation. Handled to charge with the wedge. Because the first week, everyone came in with their egos, man. Eagles, Too everyone's many. egos were out way above it. so i mean but she was able to um handle that thing properly and it caught my attention and i was just i told her i liked the fact that she was able to do that copy that copy that fantastic and that fantastic. was just it fantastic okay mm -hmm. okay okay <laughs> okay yeah. let's close alex's chapter mm -hmm. all right let's um yeah let's let's talk about all the things now uh, you know man I'm, I'm sorry to say this yeah but it's still trending and we must do the needful. All right, I don't know that you guys are like a bit, like you know yourself from the house and maybe before the house, but my question here is the fact, very, very simple question. Mm -hmm. And without mincing words. Right. You mm -hmm. know, all right. right, there was a particular change of style when the new house dressing? Yes, no, 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 no. Change of style. <laughs> change of style can be in different ramifications, yeah. yeah. So, but change of style, I'm talking about like, it changed, like everything just changed. The whole place changed, the atmosphere changed. When came um, Lucy, um, Prince, and Prince, when the housemates, when they came in, or maybe as guest or as the one to contest it, as guest. And it was like, everything just changed. The house just changed, Every, the atmosphere just changed. Did it? Like the new art just came out. Wow. Vibe came out. Did it? Yeah, and oh. you could see that Lucy was coming close to you like she was she mm. was staring you. Yeah, this is that word. Yeah? She was like, she was always in your space. Like, you, oh, yeah. any, if, you, mm. if, you, if you take him, yeah, uh, he's take professional bedmate. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna, not gonna be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a professional bedmate. Yeah, yeah, what, what I'm trying yes. to say. What do you think happened between you and Lucy there? Were you having, I don't want to say having feelings because I know it, maybe you did not have feelings for her, mm -hmm. but mm. Well, what we were seeing, all right, I, I feel like if the video could be played again, you'll see some of the things you know that, I mean, this guy is really liking. You feel like so, there was a connection or chemistry between yourself and So Lucy. me and, and Lucy, we had known each other before the show. Oh. What type of conversations, like likeness type of conversations, or just, oh, we're just friends, we talk once in a while? It was just two people who um, admired 
certain things about themselves mm. or about each other just normal you okay. know you can see someone and say oh I, I, you, you admire things about people. you you yeah. necessarily don't have to have any form of a um, likeness in a way that makes it look like you're, you're right mm -hmm. so it's just yeah personal admiration and respect for each other so that was just it it wasn't necessarily all over the place with that so yeah. just mm -hmm. yeah and maybe she came in and she was like hey she needed someone to speak to besides everybody else and since she needed what maybe she needed someone to speak to besides everyone else okay in the house and yeah that was just it but do you that, mean this particular thing that when we engage ladies here like as time goes by they start feeling a certain type of way about us like they start feeling a certain likeness for us to feel mm -hmm. like this in the image of their head they're already painting a picture that oh, this Lucy was, Lucy was his yeah his, but, see, I, was don't coming, know, I didn't, like, I really, didn't know I what didn't, I don't think she was coming I think probably that's who she is yeah, okay. like to people that are people right if she considers well, you her maybe person, this this now yeah, yeah that's if she what considers it's... you her person you know right. she always she always made sure he was sorted in the house yeah yeah, yeah. basically we give you everything this is very yeah. no she she yeah, she, she, she was cook. she was yeah, yeah. she, she was food. a very sweet person she would she cook would, she would you know? ask me about eating yeah you know yeah and just i remember the first day she didn't have a bed so i gave her my bed to sleep on i think she that was not anyone that did not have a bed by the way but okay she let's not let's not go there are you are you are you she was not me bed man four people walked into that house <laughs> yeah you gave four people did no, not have beds. No. that's like a corporal walk of mercy four people. Why you no some people had left yeah but i'm saying the day that one she person didn't in, have a bed four of us did not have beds did not have beds <laughs> but <laughs> but what? you had a bed i did not you didn't have a bed i didn't have a bed but you were i was still on. looking for a bed when lucy but had already found a bed oh i remember i remember, I remember. Okay, okay 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 i, yeah. I feel like i understand the reason okay so yeah. was it, let me ask you, both of you this question now man i'm sorry man but can you say we'll call it but let me just ask this question but did you guys <laughs> know yourself like from in the, like in the house or it was outside the house before you guys met who both of you. Oh, it was oh no, no, we were already friends before the house. Before so, the house, yeah. if both of you were friends, yeah, why would he give Lucy bed first, then, Nabi? I will not give you bed. No, no, no he said there was, already he said, he said there that. was, there hey, was oh, an, no, an no, admiration <laughs> conversation <laughs> between no, because she, both of she them. She had a bed. I didn't, didn't have a you? bed. Hey, she, well, well, she did found one. I, I didn't have a bed. Yeah. No, no, but she, she didn't have one. She found one. I didn't have one, but I found one. She found one before Lucy. No. Thoughts you found one. You did not before. think anything. Okay, thought, you didn't think anything. You didn't think anything. Didn't think anything. So I feel like, man, I feel you like... already have a bed, but oh, it's okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. So she did not have a bed. But well, yeah. Damn. He gave the bed that to... sucks. He gave his own bed, bed. though, not another. But That's like a corporate work of mercy, man. But I didn't mm. sleep on that bed. You didn't sleep on that bed. What did you no. not sleep? I slept on her bed. Sorry? On her bed. <laughs> Okay. Because we needed to just Let's catch up. Let's keep moving. Yeah, so he was he was just giving me the gist, sir. Uh, she wanted a lot of gist to see. From was their microwave. Yes, he was just giving me gist of everything that happened inside the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Alright, alright, copy that. Great, great. Moving great. on. Mm -hmm. The dynamics between your friendships in the house. Mm -hmm. You know, Kid Wire was your friend, EK was your guy. You know, you had had a little bit of you know, an issue we cross, you know, before we came into the house. We all had that conversation about that, right? What would you say your relationship now is with cross? It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. What are under the bridge? Every relationship would have that particular, you know, moment. It, moments. Yeah. There will be journeys that, you know, mm -hmm. this type of things will happen. So mm -hmm. what's important is how you handle it and the revelations that actually come as a result of those experiences. So yeah. Yeah. What a mm -hmm. rich, fantastic. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. So yeah, you said Ike was, was your guy in the house, right? Yeah. Ik, now with Ike, mm -hmm. I had not. The only one time I had met Ike was, I think it was a club. Mm -hmm. We had, from what I remember, mm -hmm. myself and Ike were not like, hey, what's up? We didn't have that relationship outside that of the house. Yeah, we didn't have that at all. There was no, hey, what's up, guy? Outside the house, there was none of that stuff. Uh -huh. um, it, as a matter of fact, I didn't even have his number until that day when. I think Venita and myself and who again we're going to a club and then it, she called Ike and Ike came through. Um, and then I think I remember meeting Ike again on a plane. Uh -uh. That's not so many circumstances Abuja. that you've met him. 
just outside two, the house. Just two circumstances. Two circumstances. Just two. So, and aside that, we were not like guys. Yeah. We're not guys. Yeah, but right. at first, I was surprised with his personality in the house because when I met him outside, I snob, like, you know, didn't want to talk to nobody, like, you know, that type of thing. But when we got in the house, um, when I saw how he became really playful with everybody, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this guy's actually cool. Yeah. And I found out we we're both cancers, so I think that was another factor that um, made me open my space up to, to, him. For him, to, come in. to him. But yeah, yeah we, we're just cool. It's not, there's nothing out of the ordinary mm -hmm. with EK. Mm -hmm. um, the way it's with Cross or Neo. Um, or Kid? Yeah, Kid. So before the house, mm -hmm. I had not met Kid. Oh, okay. I only met Kid. I was invited to his party. Okay, at uh... mm -hmm. at Echo Hotel before we ever went on lockdown. That was when I met Kid. And that was my first time meeting Kid. Coming into the house, I found Kid was okay. Uh, he was a very strategic guy, and I'm a strategic guy too. So that connection, that connection was there mentally for the mm -hmm. both of us. So we were, a lot of the plots we're doing, we're doing it together. Exactly. So when he left, I was heartbroken. I was like, God damn, well, my, my sidekick is gone. Now. Shit. <laughs> Your sidekick you know, yeah. is gone. But he's a cool guy. Right now, I mean, we're cool. I mean, mm -hmm. he FaceTimed me the other day. He was in Iceland, and he's like, I'm gonna meet him in London, and then from okay. London, we'll probably go to Australia, some shit. But. I feel like you guys are going to link up very soon. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. Link up very soon. Mm -hmm. But let's still talk about EK here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And where I'm coming from is from this perspective. The question here is very simple, but it'd be problematic. I hope you help me answer. <laughs> problematic, okay. Yeah. yeah so okay. here's the question. The question here is now, Mercy has been seen with you right now, and there's there's been rumors. I don't know how maybe you want to clarify here. You guys are dating, or you guys are into each other right now, because the, what we're seeing it seems like you guys are into each other. However, it is confirmed. But right now, EK and Mercy has been confirmed that they dated before hmm. for the speed up. I didn't even know they dated. Okay, okay, but you didn't know. What I didn't know they dated the until well, while we're I think in the house, and then. I knew they they liked each other mm. from their. I knew there was a Mercy and Ek or some sort. I think it's when it, Mercy and Ek were, were your set now. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, they dated. All mm -hmm. right. And right now, knowing that you are in the same confinement, okay, you're in the same confinement with your guy, Ek. Not your guy, but maybe a particular your person that you know. Prospects. Yeah, like you know. Do you feel like it was his, any type of way to like hit on the girl he's hit on before? <laughs> so here's the thing, right? Um, people would like people. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you're not liking someone's wife. <laughs> you get. If someone's girlfriend, yeah, I mean, a girlfriend can be snatched. A boyfriend can be snatched. Absolutely. As long as it's not someone's wife. Uh -huh. So let's. Love, that, love, that's I that. I love that you said that. Mm. As long as it's not someone's wife, anybody exactly. can be snatched. Anybody can be snatched. Girlfriend. Words. Um, now, 2023. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. now the thing here is, um, I remember before getting when I got into the house though, um, I was sort of aware that Mercy and Ike had a thing, mm -hmm. but. I didn't you know the that dynamics. they actually dated, dated for a year. Uh, so it was while I was in... It was like Kim Kardashian, sort of like that kind of vibe. Oh, yeah? They had a reality show. Yeah, so, like, oh, okay, yeah, well, okay, okay, yeah, okay. It was while I was in the house that I was made to understand that they dated for a year. But I, but week one, I remember going in mm -hmm. and um, I cornered EK to ask about Mercy. Um, I wanted to know if whatever they had yeah. still they still they, they really like because I was I also knew that they had been a party in a party place I didn't know what or how deep it was mm -hmm. you know so I wanted to just find out if there was still any type of spark going on there and if any of the house you know tried to make a move on her how would he feel about it? He said, no, he's not going to feel any type of way. Out of and I, I asked in front of her, too. I was like, so if any of the niggas about to make a move on Mercy now, how you how you going to feel? You going to feel good? I mean, is that going to be right? He's like, no, no, no. I mean, I'm, we, we're just cool with friends. We're, doing, we're good. So I'm like, okay. Exactly. And then he clicks in and is that seconds later, he's like, wait, do you like her? I'm like, I'm just saying. I'm just, I didn't say anything. I'm just saying. But, you know, yeah. um, she's a, for the most part, She's a cool chick. 
you know, I'll say that for the most part, she's a very cool, um, she's a sweet person for the most part. So everyone would have things that are likable, people, things that will attract people. But it didn't make me feel any type of way. What her getting to mercy? Hmm? What her getting to mercy? So I didn't watch her season, yeah? I went on social media over the years and I found, because after my affiliation with Big Brother, of course, I had to start looking about, looking into previous seasons and, yeah. and I saw this really crazy um, altercation between her and Tatcha. I dug a little deeper, I saw she was very outspoken, you know, from different clips I'd seen, very outspoken, you, you can't mess with her. <laughs> She's, she would bring, yeah, she would bring period. the shit to your door mm -hmm. if you tried to f But then, I saw a different Mercy in the house. Mm. This time around. I'm seeing a very laid back. Reserved. Reserved. Um, thinking before she speaks. Not trying to step on people's toes. I'm like, okay, this is different. That was one. I, I made a mental note of that. Um, another thing too was, of course, um, I'm a spiritual guy, believe in it. I'm a bad boy, but I'm also a very spiritual guy. I, I was raised by a mom, by a single mom, who is a pastor, and she loves God. I was raised in the church. So a lot of the things I've done in my life, I attributed those successes to my spirituality and relationship with God. So when I see that level of spirituality being exuded in another, you know, through another individual, I I find it very interesting, attractive. Mercy's also very yeah. So uh, the day I found the Bible on the bed, and I'm like, wait, are we supposed to have Bibles or read in here? Yeah, everyone had. A, I'm surprised yeah. they didn't. Yo, Mashla was, but then Mercy's own was surprising to me because I mean, you look at Mercy, and then yeah. you're not gonna think she's gonna be a spiritual person. And this is when you judge a book by its cover, which we shouldn't do. But then mm -hmm. she had this whole thing going with the Bible and praying. I would be watching and she would be praying and I'm like, okay, okay, it's cool. And those things, you know, were there from early, early on in the show mm -hmm. and I made mental notes. And those yeah. were the things actually that um, sort of um, made the light bulb, you know, yeah. just come on a little bit. I think it also coupled with, you know, when you have so many people in the house, that there's just so much going on. So right. like the fewer everyone like Yeah, the fewer we yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got yeah, you, you yeah, became you more right, visible became more, for you. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right, not right, in your right. face, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. Fantastic. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's all this right. meant. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Uh Pere, we are gonna be going on a short break and we'll be right back. Absolutely. Welcome back guys, it's still training, brought to you by Airtel, my name is Pascal and right now we have Pere the General on the hot seat we're about we to play some games with me and All right. Connor. So here's a fast fire, on the fast fire we'll ask you some questions and you answer in less than 60 seconds. Are you ready? Let's get things started real quick. If you could buy any type of food, what food would you buy? Beans. Beans. What color is your toothbrush? <laughs> green. Green, <laughs> everything green, green, green. If you could be any animal for just one day, what animal would that be? I'll be a lion. Okay. Who is your favorite superhero and why? Superman, because he's just this strong mentally. Yeah, what is your favorite guy. summer activity? Summer activity? Um, I like to go kayaking. Kayaking, all right. Describe your perfect kiss Perfect three kiss, words. that sloppy, just in your face. Who do you ab admire the most? Who I admire the most, my mm -hmm. mom. All right, copy that. Thank you so much, guys. It's still training birthday by Airtel. Now, when we return, Kim, myself, and Pera will be here on the show. Stick around. Welcome back. You're still watching Trending brought to you by Airtel. And I still have Pera and Pascal with me. And we are ready to play some more games. More games. Let's go. Bring it on. Bring it on. Let's go. On this session, we're going to ask you to reenact two moments in the Big Brother house. Reenact. <laughs> it doesn't have to be in my season. Oh, no. Hold on. It doesn't have to be in... Are you the one that is No, she's the one show? that's going to tell you what you're going to reenact now. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. No. All right. <laughs> First will be the Super Commando task. Oh, yeah? Or where you had to play, like, we had to play, like, generals and stuff. So you're gonna have 30 seconds to just reenact that Try moment. Trying to do some general things. Or when you were the super commando task, mm -hmm. the first layer of the super commando task, how we had to direct the housemates on what to do. 
I in can't the even remember. In the garden. In the garden. Yeah. When we're dressed oh, up as Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, so reenact. reenact that they try to try to okay. try to reenact that moment. Um, attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. At ease. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we started singing. Um. Jeez, uh, I forgot what we're singing. Um. <laughs> uh, I'll just make up a song right now. Make up a song. Right on, so just move to the corner, up and down, never loop back. Okay, cool. okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, all right. Good, okay. good, good, good. Mm -hmm. And now the second one, mm -hmm. to reenact your Lipton Ice Tea letter. My Lipton Ice Tea yes, letter? Yes, the one you wrote. Yeah. The one I wrote. Yeah. I wrote two, actually, so I'll probably reenact one of them. Yeah. Right. The one I wrote to my mom, actually, mm -hmm. I'll reenact that. Mm -hmm. um, no, I thought we were the one that was supposed to give you the one to reenact. Oh, uh -uh. you want to? Yes, no, yeah, I want to personally, <laughs> man. Like, since I want to react, react not the, the same one, the one, I feel like I, I prefer the, the one you you wrote you, to you, Kim. You, we prefer it. Yeah, I'm sorry, man, but I feel like I prefer <laughs> the one. <laughs> well, yeah, because well, since, since hey. we're the one that directs the movement of the cosmos of this what if, particular what if, what issue, we have to uh -uh. tell you. What if I prefer the one I wrote to my mother? Okay, do, do you, Please, do, 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 do you want to do that? Okay, let me, let me, let me do the one I wrote my mom. Mm -hmm. um, I began with a thousand words cannot describe how amazing, gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful you are to me. Audible. <laughs> Even I love your yeah. tattoos, mother. <laughs> I like that. I love I just want to say, I can't remember the words now, but yeah. I mean, I was very expressive in that. Yeah, fantastic. I, 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 fantastic. I tried, no. Yes, no. You won. You really? said you tried. I you did. Won. Like I did. Won. I did. I wrote yeah. from my heart. Yeah. Both letters. Well, yeah. Both Gotta letters. be hard, man. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the video or picture well, of the, the day. day. Something is wrong. He's <laughs> trying to come out of the water. Ah, and look who's left this guy? <laughs> The promise yeah. was I will be completely out of the air and for such a time you can stand with me. Why did you grow a beard? Hmm? Why did you grow a beard? Why did you think so? I shouldn't grow a beard. I was such a Percy young boy. How old? Um, I was less than 20. You were less than 20? Mm -hmm. Looking like this. You don't make any effort to Well, hold on, but no, hold on. I was no? like 20, really 22. Really, that's looking as selfish uh, as you look. Like your mind is a reflection mind. of your looks. Uh -uh. And the job could be yours for the taking. You won't look like Clem. My name is Femi yes, no. Silver. Like you did many things. You're like, that told you, told you me. Yeah, that's me, boy. You've just finished right the first on, phase so of your job. Yeah. Yep. This is good. Uh -uh. Let's talk about the soldier, soldier one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing photo. But if you were to go back in, 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 in time, would you have preferred be, being a soldier or right now? Funny story, as at 2022, when I returned back to America, I was actually going to go back into the U.S. military, but this time join the Air Force. Oh. Yeah, I was. The only thing that stopped me was I thought about what if I had other gigs outside the country that wanted me that required me to travel. I won't be able to leave. So that's why I changed. That's how much you love being in service? Yeah, I love being in service. The benefits are enormous, man. Enormous ah, benefits. The benefits. Huh. Yeah, the benefits the are benefits. enormous. benefits, yeah. okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much thank for coming you. on the show. Mm -hmm. We wish you nothing but the best as thank you go you. forward. We, we cannot wait <laughs> to watch the Silence that movie. Intruder. Mm. Yeah, silence Intruder. Year. How did you personally intrude again? Hmm? <laughs> in, in very, truth, in very in silently, in silently. Ways. Without, without you knowing, mm. very silent way. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's it for this episode on Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Kim Opera, and my name is Pascal. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platform, but firstly, follow us on our channels on DSTV channel 324, and of course, on GoTV channel 22. 
And on all the social media channels and Instagram is at official hip TV. On Twitter, all X is at hip TV. And on YouTube is at hip TV. So we'll see you again next time. Don't forget to keep it moving. Keep it moving. <laughs>